Channel 11 News starts with severe weather coverage. Good afternoon, everyone. Hit hard by flash flooding. Swift water rescue teams called in to help stranded drivers here in Baldwin. One minute, the roads were clear, then the water rose fast. And the drenching downpour is causing so many problems out there. This is a look at Route 51. Barricades are up and traffic detoured during the morning rush. People living south of the city are now being asked to stay home. And the roads too treacherous even after floodwaters receded. The flooding caused so much damage, emergency officials don't expect to reopen Route 51 and Banksville Road until after the evening rush. You can see what's left to clean up here on Banksville. And take a look at this video from Chopper 11. You can really get to begin to see the massive scope of the damage roads swallowed by the fast moving floodwaters. Cars abandoned with water up to the windows. Just imagine the damage that will be left behind when these floodwaters recede. Good afternoon, everyone. All morning long, we've been following severe weather moving through our area. And we have a team of reporters covering all of the angles of this massive flooding. We have been out here all morning in the area where I'm standing just a few hours ago covered with water. It probably would have been up to my belt. The cars that you see back there, they actually drove over some barricades, through some barricades. It's not what you're supposed to do. They were all rescued and are okay right now. Streets Run Road was more like a Streets Run River. We went to the Streets Run Road in Baldwin just after 7 o'clock this morning, and this is what we saw. The raging flood water picked up cars and moved them like boats down the road. Later in the morning, two Pittsburgh Public Works employees had to be rescued from their truck. We're in the center of town of Oakdale. Come take a look exactly how high this water is in the center of town. This is the lowest point of town, and you can see how high the water is. Take a look at that bench there. Look, at it is almost to the top of the bench. Now, residents tell me that they haven't seen anything like this since 2004. The town flooded again, uh, and the reason is there are two creeks that kind of converge right here near the center of town, and you can see what it's done this morning. A lot of these businesses probably have sustained a good amount of flooding damage in there, but thankfully nobody is trapped in any there. Uh, any of the businesses were told that everybody uh, is safe. Channel 11 News starts with severe weather coverage. The water had to have been at least eight feet. It was going up and over like a waterfall. It's a very critical situation. Totally avoid the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Good afternoon, everyone. Flash flooding, our big story today. Many people dealing with rising waters. More rain expected tonight, and we're here with you an hour early to bring you big story coverage. And as always, when the big story breaks, we devote our entire team to it. Take a look at the water all the way to the hood of these cars there in Bridgeville. That's where our Jodine Costanzo is live tonight, picking up our Team 11 coverage. Jodine. Well, David, I can tell you it is a big mess out here. Now, Chartier's Creek is just behind us. Us. It overflowed its banks about 8.30 this morning, and so all of the water then began rushing into low-lying areas where I am, like right now. You can see the cleanup behind me. A big, big mess back there. A lot of mud and debris. Streets Run Road is still a mess. A lot of the water is now off the roads, but there's still a lot of cleanup to be done in that half-mile stretch. I want you to take a look, though, at some of the most impressive video. That was shot this morning by our crew, Dave Bondi and his photographer, about 7 a.m. Take a look. Cars and trucks literally floating like boats. At one point, a couple of public works employees, uh, they had to be rescued by firefighters. The men uh, made a wrong turn, went into some pretty deep water. They actually crawled out of the front of their truck into the back of the truck, into the truck bed, and waited as a swift water rescue team moved in. Take a look at Cecil Township, Washington County. You can see the water just rushing through here. We saw Miller's Run Creek overflowing into people's yards, right into playground equipment. Cecil Township, one of many affected by the water there in Washington. Lots of power outages, too. And yeah, we're told that a viewer sent in a picture, if we can get that up right now, of what appears to be a funnel cloud uh, in the area near Newcastle. And it would certainly uh, lead one to believe that this is the same funnel cloud then that eventually touched down and was confirmed mm -hmm. uh, to be a tornado. Yeah, more specifically near New Beaver Township. And Scott, this is Southern Lawrence County is what we're talking about right here. Yeah, New Beaver Township in Southern Lawrence County. This is now moving southeast of Newcastle. I want to show you something right here. You see Slippery Rock Grove City, the two biggest towns in the path right now. One of the things that I'm liking about this, and hopefully this continues, is we've been talking about this hook in here, this little notch in here. Now I've noticed in the last couple of sweeps, 
This is not as defined as it was before. And on the last week, there was actually a break between this and between that. So hopefully that's an indicator of a weakening cell. Channel 11's Amy Marcinko, it's in Lawrence County, where that tornado hit. And uh, Amy, I saw some of your pictures on Twitter. The damage is really we incredible. She joins us live via County Skype. In Lawrence County, and I'm Skyping with you right now because we can't go live because there is lightning all around us. I'm gonna turn the camera around to show you the damage that we have seen. As you can see, as I walk towards this barn, this is a very, very rural area. So. Not a lot of people live around here, although we have seen a lot of people stop here on the roadway to take pictures after they learn that the tornado touched down. Again, it has hit in two separate spots. Right here is the majority of the damage that you see. Look at all this water. I'm going to cross. Sorry, hold on with me here. Cross that water. We've seen a lot of water here. It's still lightning outside right now. Very dangerous to go live, but we are here on a cell phone showing you these pictures, and we're not any danger right now. Let me show you the debris. Sorry, I'm, I'm walking a pretty long while. I'm sorry. There's the debris. You can see the nails. You can see the roof from that barn. See the roadway there? There's a lot of water still on Route 168. A lot of people coming by to take a look. There's the barn, if you can see it right up close. And let me pan over here to show you how it hit that barn, then it hit that barn, hit that house right there that I showed you earlier. On 11 and 11, tornado touchdown. A man rushes to save his 90-year-old grandmother as the storm rolls through. It was on the ground and it was moving. Plus, homes literally underwater and people forced to higher ground. They come over and it's pretty high, yeah. And traffic lights out and police pulling double duty to control the traffic. We heard this really, really loud bang. We take you to all the hardest hit areas in severe weather Team 11 coverage. Live and local link breaking. Channel 11 News 11 at 11 starts with severe weather coverage. Good evening, everyone. People all across the area cleaning up from today's wild weather, including this tornado touchdown in Lawrence County. And high water, the big problem tonight inside one local community. The rain literally forced people to move to higher ground. And the strong winds brought down this store sign right onto an SUV. Fortunately, no one was injured. Well, tonight, tens of thousands are still without power. Scary sight earlier tonight in Lawrence County of tornado touching down, sending debris just everywhere. Soon as we heard about the twister, we sent Channel 11's Amy Marcinkowitz to get a closer look at the damage. She's live tonight with more on what she found. Amy. Oh, David, it was a crazy night for us up here. We had to battle the rain, the flooded roads to get to where we needed to be. And when we got there, the damage was extensive. Here it is, cell phone video of the funnel cloud hovering above Lawrence County. We could see the funnel cloud touch down, and by the time I got less than a quarter of a mile up the road up here, we, I could see it was on the ground. I turned around, went back south, and it was a matter of five minutes, and I come back through here, and everything was gone. After he heard it, saw it, this is what he found when he arrived to rescue his 90-year-old grandma. The aftermath of a confirmed tornado touchdown here along Route 168 in North Beaver Township. The damage is evident and all over the place. We are at the Kerr's Trailer Park, and as you can see, the waters here are starting to recede, but this place is looking more like Boathouse Row. Take a look. There are some 25 mobile homes right now that are sitting literally in about two to three three feet of water, and this is just some of the damage that we are seeing here in Lawrence County tonight. The damage and devastation is unimaginable in Chenango Township. A lot of thunder and lightning. Torrential rains dumped several feet of water on Kerr's trailer park on Route 422. Well, Darius, they always say one of the biggest threats after severe weather is downed power lines. As you said, that's what we've got here on Route 50. Several high tension wires snapped during these storms, fell onto the roadway, and there they sit. Now, despite this road being shut down for hours, despite emergency crews on both ends with flashing lights. Channel 11 viewers jumped into action. So one of the first pictures we got of the confirmed tornado in North Beaver Lawrence County. You can see part of the funnel cloud there. This is another shot of the twister. You can see dark clouds in the distance there. Some areas also saw some downed trees. This picture comes from a Facebook friend in Sycamore, Washington County. Now to Elwood City and a Facebook friend sent us this picture of the flooding in a horse pasture near her home. Now remember, if you have pictures or video of severe weather in your area, we'd like to see them as soon as you can send them to us 